Our big exclusive today. The CEO of Infosys had raised concerns and urged the company's shareholders to keep the faith, even as the software major goes through one of its toughest periods in its 32-year-old history. To tell us more about the road ahead for the company, joining us in business is the man himself, S.D. Shibulal, Chief Executive Officer of Infosys. Shibu, many thanks for joining us uh, on Bloomberg. My first question to you, in a recent letter to shareholders, you would articulated that you are concerned about the slowdown in the market and that the slowdown has been a cause of anxiety and self-doubt. Do you feel uh, that growth might be difficult to recover? Are you open to changing your position on strategy? And do you feel the need to do a course correction? So, um, Harsha, um, as an organization, we are always a learning organization. We have gone through a transformation. We have reconfigured ourselves. We are purely on the execution mode, and now we have been on the execution mode for almost a year. Right, and uh, um, when you look back, we are of course, um, you know, the, from, there are two uh, primary um, drivers for the transformation. Number one is increased increased client relevance. I clearly believe that we have been able to achieve it. I have been able to uh, sense it in my client interactions, which I have many every quarter. Second was to create balanced growth. If you look at that dimension, if you look at consulting and system integration that has grown above our average, our business and IT operations have actually grown below our average. So um, when you look at the year, after a year into execution, there are, of course, learnings which we have. And as an organization which is in, in a continuous mode of learning, we look at these learnings and, and make adjustments. So um, one of the areas where we are making adjustments is our investment into our client services. Another area is our geographical focus. Those kinds of things. Sure. Uh, so you've been leading from the front to articulate this 3.0 strategy. While clients have backed this process so far, do you believe with the slowdown, do they have the patience to really hold on to your story? Uh, from a client's perspective, if you look at our, um, uh, you know, if we, if we look at our client's perspective, the indicators have been actually pretty good because if you look at the Consulting and system integration revenue, it has grown faster than our average. On the business and IT operations, actually, if you look at H2 alone, we have booked a billion dollars of business. Um, we have won a billion dollars of TCV. Now, uh, when, you, when you win very large opportunities, it takes time to uh, come through, right? Because if you win uh, a total contract value of a billion dollars over the next five years, it takes time to flow through. And when I look at my um, pipeline for the large opportunities, we have a very strong pipeline for large opportunities. At the same time, after winning, it takes time for flowing through. The third component, which is the product and platform business, is a completely different model. You, you win the deal, um, you have about $700 million, close to $700 million of TCV1, but the revenue is only 1%. Because, again, it is a different um, uh, different sure. revenue profile. Sure. So it takes time to uh, flow through. Sure. And um, so when I look at um, the direction we have taken, we are confident. There are, of course, learnings from execution over the last one year, which we need to um, account for and adjust for. When I look at the future, um, you know, I see the strategies yielding results over the medium to long term. Shibu, you've also said that you will invest $100 million on new products and platforms and solutions uh, in your annual report. Is this all going to be M&A? Are there any deals in the offing? Actually, that is not M&A. That is actually to look at new technologies, new innovations, new hmm. um, areas of investment. Sure. Um, looking at um, looking uh, looking at incubation from our own employees and from outside, which would yield results in the long term. Uh, from an acquisition strategy perspective, um, we did one, uh, Lodestone, which is in the, which has now completed integration and it is in the execution mode. Uh, we will continue to look for um, new inorganic opportunities which um, satisfies our um, strategic objectives. In your earnings call, Shibu, you mentioned that you're looking at acquisition opportunities in Europe and Japan. What is the progress? Are we going to see any deals occur later this year? Uh, no, actually we said that we will focus on products and platform. We will look for um, public service expansion. We will look for life sciences. Yeah. Uh, we will look for um, 
Latin America, Europe actually we just did one, right, uh, Lodestone. So we are looking at um, all of these uh, different areas. Just a word uh, on internal operations, Shibu. You know, as a leader, you've taken a pay cut. Uh, pay hikes for this year have not been given so far, for this fiscal, that is. Do you think the employee-related concerns within Infosys have been addressed entirely? So, um, we uh, did a um, compensation increase um, offshore in October. Um, we did a compensation increase in offshore in October. If you look at the last one year, we did uh, promotions in April. We gave promotion hikes. We did a compensation increase in October. We gave that. We In, in um, January, February, we rolled out compensation increase for uh, our, uh, you know, uh, our on-site employees in the U.S. We are just um, doing a you know, promotion-based uh, increment right now. We have also uh, one, of our, um, one, of the, um, one of the most important um, um, requirements from our employees was to um, reduce variability, variability of compensation. We have just done that. We have restructured. We have increased the fix. We have reduced the variability. We have simplified uh, the, the compensation structure. And we are just rolling it out. Simultaneously, we have given compensation increase. We are giving compensation increase to our um, sales force, our field force. Fair point. Uh, just a word about the, the tax claim, Shibu. We understand that the IT department has made a 570 crore claim on emphasis. Can you tell us what is this claim really regarding and what is your course of action? So, um, first and foremost, uh, we are, if not first, one of the one of the largest uh, taxpayers in Karnataka. This is a 500 plus crore claim which came through. This is based on a rule which was um, uh, which was there some in 2007-2008. Later on, uh, there is an amendment which allows us to take tax benefit for on-site revenue as well as ACS revenue. So we are appealing. Uh, we are appealing this. Sure. Shibu, there have been media reports of Ms. Naran Murthy coming back and taking charge of operations. Uh, can you tell us if there's any change in the operational management of the company? So, Harsha, I think uh, for Infosys and me, it's a great privilege to have a um, leader like Mr. Murthy in the organization. Uh, it's indeed a privilege to have somebody of his stature and his experience uh, being part of the organization as cha chairman emeritus. And it is very natural that, um, you know, I will go to him for advice um, as and when required, and that is actually... Um, you know, that was well defined in his role as the chairman emeritus. Today, definitely, we are going through, um, you know, a challenging time. And so, in that situation, it is even more um, relevant and even more um, helpful for me to go to him for advice. And um, I do that. So, there is no credence to these reports uh, and you're putting all these rumors to rest? It is not, um, um, it, you know, it, it's not right for me to uh, respond to rumors at the same time and he continues to be the chairman emeritus at this point in time. All right, so we'll leave it there. Many thanks for joining us with your perspective. S.D. Shibalal, Chief, Chief Executive Officer of Infosys on their outlook for the company and the road ahead.